20% on a variety of collections. Fill your home with our best deals, including designs to elevate your living room, warm up your bedroom, and revamp your dining room. You'll even find the perfect accent chairs and accessories for less. Enjoy special financing for 60 months on any purchase with your good credit and get everything fast with free next day shipping. Shop the winter clearance event only at Living Spaces. Living Spaces. We all want to connect. We do it because we're human. It's in our DNA. The Music Center is where we go to replenish our hearts, minds, and bodies, to find a deeper connection, to be inspired. The Music Center is your place to move and be moved. Be a part of it. MusicCenter.org. More than just beautiful dance. It's a touch of the divine. More than just legends. It's the beautiful culture and wisdom of China before communism. More than just a performance. It's an experience that awakens the soul. Shen Yun, coming to Greater Los Angeles, February 28th to March 26th. Buy tickets now at shenyun.com. The Fresh Made Everything Burrito. Who does that in fast food? Get the epic fresh guacamole burrito with grilled chicken, now at Del Taco. Fresher, guacier, epicer. Say hello to Del Taco Better Mex. Party with Joey on Friends, weeknights at 11.30 on KTLA 5. Good morning, I'm Eric Spillman. The family of Buffalo Bills safety, DeMar Hamlin, has just released a statement. We're gonna have that for you. Plus, what heart experts think might have caused him to collapse during last night's game. I'll have a live report. Good morning, I'm Frank Buckley. The new session of Congress is underway this morning and the voting is underway right now for House leadership, including for Speaker of the House. Republican leader Kevin McCarthy wants that job. At last count, he did not have the votes from within his own party. We will have the latest from Washington just ahead. Good morning, I'm Jessica Holmes. Tonight, you have a shot at becoming America's next millionaire, the massive Mega Millions jackpot that's now up for grabs. And good morning, I'm Lena Bobian. We are live here in Pasadena. This is Float Fest. The parade might be over, but you can still see the floats in person. How long this will be happening, we'll give you all the details. Coming up next. Good morning, I'm Sam Rubin, new here at 10 o'clock. Speaking of that Rose Parade, oh, how many people watched it? And where did they watch it? We have the answers to those questions. And if you're a fan of Southern Charm, many are. One of the ladies from the series on the way here live. <laughs> oh, magnificent. Oh, boy. Uh, hey, good morning, everyone. <laughs> it's still raining outside on and off, and that's today's going to be sort of a transitional day, but by tomorrow, later in the afternoon, we can expect to have some heavier rain moving into the area, and that'll be all the way through Thursday with stronger winds also, and uh, temperatures going to be rain about the same. We are tying into the atmospheric river. That means lots of rain coming in from the west, coming in from just about all the way. We used to call it the Pineapple Express coming in all the way from Hawaii. There you can see some scattered showers. Today's weather, here it is, 60, 61 downtown, 60 San Fernando Valley, and then uh, 58 high desert, Inland Empire 56. Orange County Inland, 60 degrees. Frank and Jessica, back to you. Buffalo Bills safety, DeMar Hamlin is in critical condition this morning after his heart stopped following a tackle against the Bengals. The scary scene unfolded last night on Monday Night Football. Kate Lee's Eric Spillman live in our newsroom with a new statement from Hamlin's family. Eric, good morning. Good morning, uh, Jessica. Good morning, Frank. Yeah, we just got that statement uh, from the family of DeMar Hamlin, and I'm just going to read a portion of it to you. Here's what it says. On behalf of the family, we want to express our sincere gratitude for the love and support shown to DeMar during this challenging time, we're deeply moved by the prayers, kind words, and donations from fans around the country. The family goes on to thank the first responders and doctors who are providing care, and they say, 
please keep DeMar in your prayers. We will release updates as soon as we have them. Hamlin suffered a cardiac arrest during last night's game between the Bengals and the Bills. He was playing safety. You see him wearing number three here after he made what seemed like a routine tackle. He stood up for about two seconds or so and then immediately collapsed and was laying motionless on the ground on his back. During the tackle, he took a direct hit to his chest from the Bengals receiver. Medical responders administered CPR to him for nine minutes. They gave him oxygen. The crowd of 65,000 fans went silent. An ambulance was brought onto the field. The game was suspended indefinitely. Players and coaches gathered in a circle on the field to pray for Hamlin. Some of them were weeping. The Buffalo Bills in a statement say Hamlin's heartbeat was restored on the field before he was taken to the hospital. This morning, several heart experts say Hamlin may have suffered from something called commotio cordis. It is a disruption of the heart rhythm because of a blow to the chest. It only happens a few dozen times a year in the entire country and is more common in sports like baseball or lacrosse. The heart, instead of beating normally, squeezing normally, becomes erratic and it starts quivering.